Thank you so much for tuning back into my YouTube channel. And today I have a very, very exciting trip to the climbing hangar, which is my climbing wall that I've been going to quite a bit. Uh, but I've got Shona Coxie there, ready and waiting with Red Bull. I cannot wait to get her on a one-on-one -on -one basis, ask her some questions. She's gonna be giving me some tips for climbing, and then I'm gonna be firing a few more questions at her. Can she give us some top tips of our, on our overhand climbs? Can she give us some tips on our grips, on our finger strength? What should we be doing outside climbing? Should we be well, warming up? How do we cool down? So many questions to be answered. So I'm really excited to be able to get her in the climbing hangar and see what she's got to say. climbing and I think there's probably quite a lot of people that are just like okay well, I'm just getting started yeah. and um, so have you got any top tips for building your grip because your grip is insane yeah. I think when people come into climbing they want to get really strong fingers really quickly and the thing is um, in your fingers it's all about your tendons and your ligaments that you want to train really slowly so yeah. actually just going climbing is the best training that you can do there's no like quick fix but, um, I don't know, like my um, physio saying to me, he was like, you know, you've got to massage out your fingers and like yeah. there's some sort of stuff that goes into it. Yeah. People go get sports, sports massages on their backs and legs or whatever, but yeah, when you climb it, your hands are really important. Huge. Can I see these hands? Yeah, please? they're not very That's pretty. the thing. Honestly, but this is the thing, you just, it just happens. <laughs> give up any career as a hand model, I think. But, totally fine. You know, I'll go over that. But you'd be yeah. badass climber anyway, so it would be cool. <laughs> it's a fingerboard. Yeah. Are they, for, are they more for grip or for, for finger strength? Both, you know, they're for like upper body strength and finger strength. Um, you just got to start out really, really, really slow. Um, so yeah, the more yeah, climbing you that whole do, idea kind of scares me. Yeah, and I think probably a lot of other people. Because staying away from it for like probably at least the first year that you're getting into climbing and really yeah, let your like tendons and your hands get used to being on holds and holding different grip types. I think one of the most important things you can do when you go climbing is not just hold the same types of holds and so not yeah. just hold all the ones that go in. Like try and hold some slopey ones and some pinchy ones and some small yeah. ones. Um, and mix it up a bit so you're not doing the same thing over and over again. And I guess that's what these kind of climbing places are good for because like most of them have got lots of different types of holes on them. Yeah, and, like, yeah, so yeah. that's challenging there. Touch hand like. There's three different grip types, open handed, yep. half grip, and then full grip where your thumb comes over and you can really get up high. You want to avoid that when you're starting out, but half grip is okay. And training wise, if you're training, you shouldn't be doing pull-ups as a beginner or anything like that. But just trying to use the different grip types on the wall and that sort of stuff is quite important. And you can stand here and like feel them and kind of work your fingers a little bit. But just really gradually introduce weight so you're not doing it immediately like jumping straight up. Cool. But using a beast maker is really good for training. And you can do offset pull-ups like this and this. Oh uh, yeah, because you would have to do that when you're climbing. Yeah. Yes, so, girl. So hang. Yeah. And see if you can do a pull-up in there. Yeah, nice, nice, nice. And all the way down, really controlled. And then stop there, have a rest. Jeez. Yeah, it's got all the overhangs. I find overhangs quite tricky. I think <laughs> with everything like this, everything that you want to get better at is just doing more of it. Yeah. Like anything. And, and if you don't you feel like you're good at it, you probably won't you do as much away. of it. Exactly. Yeah, even like working your weaknesses is how you get better at anything. And I think even something you don't like because you don't like it that's a weakness mm -hmm. but on overhangs people tend to try and pull with their arms a lot and you really use their upper body strength but your feet are super important and your core your core needs to be yeah, strong to keep your feet on and yeah then your feet need to be engaged to not fall off so yeah not just pulling through your arms and actually trying to keep your feet on that is a good tip really good and things like heel hooks and toe hooks like I yeah, yeah. that doesn't come that naturally to me I guess yeah. probably like if you, quite a few years yeah. climbing teachers see that but like people will be like well that's obviously a toe hook or that's obviously a heel hook and I think it's quite hard to then know when you do, when to use those when sorts use, of things yeah. but um, I think yeah it all just comes to practice and trying it and not being afraid to I guess look a bit like an idiot and fall off and go oh that wasn't supposed to be a toe hook at all like yeah. and try it again I mean, so just I spend a lot more time on the wall than I do on the good wall. Good to know, good. <laughs> Even good. still now. Good. I think I fall off trying stupid things as much as a beginner would. I think that's how you progress, that's how you get better. You know, I mean, I'm always well, trying stupid, ridiculous things. Like Even in World Cups, you know, people are like, what on earth were you doing there? And I'm like, well, it worked. <laughs> Might not have been the 
like the way that it was meant to be but yeah I mean I think I try yeah climbing it you don't have to do something like I when I first started I was just like oh you know I have to do this with my right foot and that yeah. with my left foot but it's quite nice you make it up yourself yeah, yeah it's yeah. really like totally up to you you get to the top and you're like mm, yeah I'm not sure that was that's supposed to be done I still do that now all of the time we get there that's good things how do you kind of stay injury free i think i feel like when i'm training obviously you build up you build up yeah. you build up but from a personal trainee type background i feel like it's quite intense on the body like yeah. especially things yeah. like the shoulders and i think if you maybe didn't do the extra work outside then you could be kind of like yeah potentially but i think the main thing that you can do is listen to your body and if something's a bit niggly or a bit tweaky you know lay off the things that are hurting it or go get a massage go speak to a physio just don't ignore what's going on with your body a lot of strain on your body but so does going for a run or mm -hmm. you know like in different ways so um yeah i think just listening to your body and responding not nice. just going oh, okay that hurts well so in terms of uh, cross training nowadays you do a lot of stuff in the gym as well i think i saw yeah, some of your workouts it's kind of crazy yeah so that's really new to me that's very recent it's not something that i'm that familiar with and being in that environment is very new to me uh, but I am, i'm absolutely loving it yeah it's, it's fun really isn't cool. it yeah i've always been you know in the world of sport like in the world of climbing but going into i guess the fitness world and the gym world has been really different yeah um, and opened my eyes a little bit uh to just the other side like yeah. training for different reasons I've always trained to get better at climbing I've always climbed and now I'm in the gym and seeing people and meeting people who train for different reasons some want to look good some want to do an Ironman some want to do this and yeah just being surrounded by people who are training hard for whatever their own personal goal is is really motivating training so you have an awful yeah, lot of training yeah so it varies a lot the amount of hours I do but I train six days a week um, and then in terms of like mobility and stretching my coach is really into mobility stuff so we cool. do quite a lot and for me, I need training to be fun. So at the beginning of sessions, we do a lot of stupid mobility, messing around stuff. And like my training partner and I do quite a lot of acro yoga. I just love that. Sorry, I saw that. It's super fun, isn't it? Yeah, it's really fun. Um, we got really into that. So a lot of the mobility stuff I do is I kind of don't realise I'm doing it. Um, okay. I mostly get like games. So it's like sneakily getting it into you without yeah. you realising it. Yeah, good, yeah. nice. But it is important, obviously, because I guess like you know that gives you the range of motion that you need to, to be able to get to. Those yeah, definitely. Kind of um, my coach, she's also got me doing a load of different shoulder mobility stuff, and it's really opened up a lot. I saw this. <laughs> Yeah. 
Yeah, so climbing is all about your hips. It's all about your hip movement. Posting, like you're plugging your hips so you can create momentum. So I do like double hand climbing and even slow down. I tell very beginners to do it and I've told like elite athletes to do it. It's just something it gets that your heart rate up because you're a journalist as well. It gets your heart rate up and it also just like gets you bouncing and moving and it like you get a bit scared and then you like get used to it and I think it sets a different tone to your session. Hips up, hips down. So your arm stays really straight. You don't want to be pulling and trying to reach like this. Yeah. Whereas if you come down with your bum, hips up, hips in. Single arm on each arm. Okay. Really, really good. Yeah, that's a really good one. And now, you're going to try to go from here, feet here and here, we go all the way up to these things. Yeah, cool. Good luck with all the Olympic training. Thanks. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> awesome.